Hey guys and gals, Todd Becker here with High Scale Reptiles and Enclosures. And I just want to show you the snake that we have in this bucket right here. We got a call today for a uh, snake in someone's backyard. Now, here in Central Texas, uh, if you guys have been watching the weather and that, a lot of the rain came up from Louisiana and we've been getting quite a bit of it. So this particular snake likes to stay underground at all times. It likes to stay hidden. Uh, you don't see them too often. And when it does rain and we get heavy rains, they actually get washed out of their little burrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Now they are a wily little animal. So hopefully it cooperates a little bit for me. Now this one here is not very big. Whoop, almost got him out there. This is a Texas coral snake. And we're gonna try to keep it back over here as best we can. There are three species of this snake that are here in North America. We actually have Microrus tenor, which is this one right here. We've got Microrus fulvius, which is gonna be your Eastern. And as you can see, they're a pretty wild animal, which is gonna be your Eastern coral snake. And then we've got Microrus uraxanthus, which is gonna be your Arizona or your Western coral snake. Now you can see all the snake wants to do is get away from me. Now, I'm not free handling the snake. What I'm doing here is I'm tailing this snake and I'm just trying to keep it still so that y'all can see it on the camera. I'm not hurting it in any kind of way. Uh, now this snake right here is actually considered to have the second strongest venom in the world. That's uh, next to the black mamba. They do have a very strong neurotoxic venom. I wanna try to make sure I keep an eye on him while I'm talking to y'all. They do have a very neurotoxic venom, and it's a, a very dangerous venom if you do get bit by this animal. But, however, this animal is not typically inclined to bite at all. These are very laid back snakes. Everything, all of these are actually harmless if you just leave them alone and you don't mess with them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have you come over to the bucket. I'm gonna bring that around to the bucket because it's just getting too wily. And when you put the tongs on this animal, it actually feels threatened because the tongs will clamp down on it and keep it from moving. When that happens, that's when the animal goes into def defensive mode and it'll start to try to bite. And I don't want the animal to actually bite itself. So we'll kind of get the camera down here in the bucket so you guys can see it. <clears throat> now, these snakes will actually curl the tip of their tail and they'll use the tip of their tail, the curling of the tip of their tail, to fool predators into thinking that their tail is actually the head. And they'll tuck their head underneath them. And they do that because it's better for them to lose their tail than it is for them to lose their head. Uh, the other thing to know about these snakes is when they are threatened, there's actually been studies done that say sometimes when they're threatened, some of the researchers say it's when they're threatened. Other researchers say it's when they're mating. Uh, they actually have what's called micro farts. They'll actually, that, that is actually a true term. It's called a micro fart where they'll push air out of their cloaca and it'll make a popping sound. And they'll do that. Uh, uh, typically during one of those two events, during mating or during, uh, or during, uh, or when they're, they're, they feel like they're being uh, challenged. I'm sorry, I have somebody pulling in my driveway as I'm trying to make a video. So <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want the snake or, or myself to get hit. A couple other things to know about this animal <clears throat> is they are the only North American species of venomous snake to lay eggs. Coral snakes will actually lay eggs. This one right here will lay anywhere from six to seven. Easterns will lay six to seven as well. The Arizona uh, coral snake will lay anywhere from three to four eggs. And a lot of people seem to think also, to touch base on their venom again, that they need to chew to get their venom into you. That's actually not correct. Yes, when a coral snake bites you because it has fixed fangs, just like a cobra, these are lapid, so they are related to the cobras and the mambas. So their fangs are fixed. When they bite you, they do like to chew to try to get that venom in there, but that doesn't mean they have to chew in order to, to envenomate you. If you get bit by this animal, you need to seek medical attention immediately. Uh, like I said, the animal is not typically inclined to bite at all. They're very laid back, laid back creatures. You don't hardly see them. They spend most of their time underground, hidden. They don't typically like to come out. Uh, they can get, they usually average anywhere between 18 and 20 inches, but they can get up to three feet long. I have found some that were 28, 29 inches right in that window. They're a really beautiful snake. Uh, the old rhyme says red on yellow, kill a fellow, red on black, friend of Jack. Well, that rhyme is actually really not that good. That's only specifically for North American species that are here. Uh, 
there are 65 different species all around the world. You have your old world coral snakes and your new world coral snakes. Uh, these three that are here in the United States where we are, they're the only ones that that rhyme will actually fit. But that rhyme doesn't always fit for those particular animals because patterns and coloration can change due to genetics out in nature. So uh, anyways, I uh, just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about this animal. I'm going to go ahead and release it and uh, get it back out into the wild where, where it needs to be, where it belongs. But I'll give you one more quick look at it. That's it right there. Texas coral snake. It's a really, really beautiful animal. And like I said, this is a harmless animal as long as you leave it alone. This animal will not bother you and it spends most of its life hidden. And as you can see, it just wants to get away. It's kind of calming down now just a bit. It's smelling the air, trying to figure out what's going on. This one right here is probably a good 22 inches. But uh, we're going to go ahead and bring it somewhere tomorrow and get it released back into the wild. So if you see one, just leave it alone. Coral snakes. There's no documentation of coral snakes killing anybody in the last 60 years. Uh, it's not a typical snake that really kills people. They're actually considered to be less dangerous than rattlesnakes, and that's because of the fact that they're not typically inclined to bite. So even though that venom is, is bad, just leave it alone. If you leave it alone, the snake will go away. Thanks for watching.